Elon Musk might just blow the world's mind if this Naxtra battery tech makes it into Tesla EVs by the end of the year. In fact, this battery could change Tesla electric vehicles forever. We're not saying it's better than the 4680 cells, but it's definitely way cheaper than the best batteries Tesla currently has. Why? Because it's made from materials that are abundant around the world, unlike the scarcity of lithium. Yeah, we're talking about sodium, the element you can find literally everywhere. In the ocean, underground, or even in your kitchen salt shaker. And it doesn't stop there. This is the first sodium battery in the real world to hit performance levels that rival top-tier batteries. We mean 310 miles on just a 5-minute charge. Not to mention it has a much lower risk of fire compared to lithium-ion batteries. Cattle says this battery could reshape the entire industry and replace half of the LFP battery market. And LFP is already one of the cheapest types of batteries out there. So if Naxtra can beat LFP, it could be the key to truly affordable EVs under $25,000, something Tesla is still struggling to pull off. So what exactly makes this battery so special? When will it be available in EVs? And why is it likely to show up in Tesla EVs very soon? Let's dive in and find out. The truth is, not long ago, EV skeptics and critics used to say they wouldn't even consider buying an electric car unless it had at least a 300-mile range. Well, that barrier has already been shattered. EVs today can easily hit 400 to 500 miles of range. But now, the conversation has shifted. The latest complaint? Charging time. Now those same EV naysayers are saying they won't switch over until an electric car can charge as fast as it takes to fill up a gas tank. Let's be real. People will always find some reason to dismiss progress. But if an EV can add 300 miles of range in just five minutes, we truly believe there won't be a single excuse left to look down on electric vehicles. And yes, that kind of battery is now real. Cattle, Tesla's largest battery partner, has developed what could be the most well-rounded battery yet. It flips the whole script that lithium is irreplaceable by using sodium, an element that's 1,400 times more abundant than lithium. Now let's address the elephant in the room. When something launches in China, especially tech, a lot of people automatically assume it's fake, exaggerated, or just a knockoff. But this time we're talking about KTL, the number one battery manufacturer in the world, with over 18.32 million electric vehicles powered by KTL batteries across 66 plus countries. And here's the thing, KTL has never lied about their battery performance. This is no hype, it's happening, and the game is about to change. In fact, Cattle became the first automotive battery manufacturer to launch sodium ion batteries in 2021. But due to limited performance parameters, the commercialization of the first generation of sodium batteries has not been widely expanded. But now, Cattle's Naxtra battery has broken the performance boundary of the material itself, achieving mass production of sodium ion batteries for the first time. Specifically, Cattle's Naxtra EV battery achieves an energy density of 175 watt hours per kilogram, the highest among sodium ion batteries worldwide and comparable to LFP batteries. This enables the Naxtra battery to help EVs achieve a range of 500 kilometers and can achieve more than 10,000 cycles, significantly reducing maintenance costs. You may not know, but achieving an energy density of 175 watt-hours per kilogram for a sodium battery is extremely difficult. Why? In fact, the energy density of sodium batteries is usually quite low, only around 130 to 150 watt-hours per kilogram. The reason is that sodium ions are larger in size than lithium ions. This means that more space is needed to accommodate sodium ions when the battery is operating. As a result, the cells in sodium ion batteries need to be larger or have more space to accommodate the required amount of ions, resulting in a lower energy density. On the other hand, sodium is heavier than lithium. This means that sodium-ion batteries will be heavier in mass compared to lithium-ion batteries of the same capacity. This makes the energy density by weight watt hours per kilogram of sodium-ion batteries lower than lithium-ion. That is why sodium batteries have consumed years of research by millions of researchers around the world just to find a way to make it have a higher energy density, and cattle is proof that they have found a practical solution. Of course, we have to admit that the energy density of 175 watt-hours per kilogram is not an impressive number. 
compared to the 4680 battery with a density of 272 watt hours per kilogram, the Naxtra battery is still quite far away. Cattle's goal is that sodium batteries can soon reach 200 watt hours per kilogram, but at the moment, it seems that this will not happen anytime soon. Despite having an average energy density on the contrary, the Naxtra battery's charging time can blow any battery away, with just 5 minutes of charging giving you 310 miles of range. For any battery technology, the key factor in determining whether charging is fast or slow always lies in the movement of ions between the electrodes during charging and discharging. In Naxtra batteries, sodium ions move between the anode and cathode through the electrolyte. One of the reasons why these batteries have high charging and discharging speeds is the favorable ionic conductivity of sodium ions in the electrolyte. Sodium ions carry a single positive charge, similar to lithium, but their larger ionic radius allows them to move relatively easily through certain electrolytes, especially those optimized for sodium ion batteries. In liquid electrolytes, sodium can exhibit rapid diffusion, facilitating faster ion transport during both charging and discharging processes. This speed means it's capable of fully charging a Tesla Model Y in just five minutes. Oh my God, that's clearly close to the experience of refueling a gasoline car. Customers also experience reduced range anxiety and increased confidence when using electric vehicles. In addition to the ultra-fast charging potential for EVs, similar to gas refueling, the ultra-fast charging advantage of Naxtra batteries also benefits power tools or heavy-duty industrial equipment. The high discharge rate ensures that the Naxtra battery can deliver the necessary power within a short time frame, supporting demanding workloads. This makes sodium-ion batteries an attractive option for high-power applications that require instant energy delivery. As we mentioned earlier, Naxtra batteries not only have a cost advantage, but they can also be considered one of the safest types of batteries for electric vehicles. This is evidenced by cattle sharing results from a series of rigorous stress tests, including drilling into a cell and even cutting it in half without any thermal events occurring. This is largely thanks to the sodium-based chemistry inside the battery. According to cattle, the Naxtra battery can operate across a wide temperature range from minus 40 degrees Celsius to over 70 degrees Celsius redefining the extreme temperature limits of batteries. The Naxtra battery retains 90% of its usable capacity at negative 40 degrees Celsius. Even at an extremely low state of charge, it shows no significant power degradation at negative 40 degrees Celsius. Compared to lithium batteries, sodium ion batteries inherently have better resistance to overheating, reducing the risk of fire or explosion under thermal stress. Studies show that sodium ion batteries are less flammable due to their more stable chemical structure and are less likely to explode in the event of a short circuit, offering a higher level of safety in technical failure scenarios. Additionally, sodium is a non-toxic material, minimizing health risks in the event of battery breakage or damage. You no longer have to worry about terrifying EV fires with thick plumes of smoke from lithium batteries. One standout advantage of sodium ion batteries that we particularly value is their ability to maintain stable performance at low temperatures. Many have demonstrated that they can still charge from 5% to 80% in just 15 minutes, even at minus 10 degrees Celsius. This makes sodium ion batteries an ideal choice for regions with harsh winters or cold environments, where EV performance degradation during winter is one of the main reasons many consumers are still hesitant to adopt electric vehicles. Therefore, Naxtra batteries may shift public perception and spark a revolution by offering minimal capacity degradation at low temperatures and functioning efficiently in extreme cold down to minus 40 degrees Celsius. The so-called winter range anxiety for EVs might soon fade away. Although cattle has not disclosed the exact cost of each battery cell produced, if sodium ion batteries are manufactured at scale, they could be 20% to 30% cheaper than LFP batteries, mainly due to the abundant supply of sodium and its low extraction and refinement costs. Sodium ion batteries can also use aluminum for the anode current collector instead of copper, which is used in lithium ion batteries, further reducing costs and supply chain risks. Replacing all lithium in lithium-ion batteries with sodium could lead to up to a 30% reduction in cost. What does that mean? That 30% is a huge advantage. In many cases, just a few percentage points in price difference can determine the survival of an industry. 
As we mentioned earlier, sodium is the primary component of Naxtra batteries, easily found in many places and much cheaper than lithium. Sodium is the sixth most abundant element in the Earth's crust, while lithium is relatively rare and mainly extracted from mineral deposits and brine, making its mining and transportation more expensive. Lithium mines are concentrated in specific regions such as Chile and Australia, which causes price volatility. But that's not all. Lithium-ion batteries often require rare materials, like cobalt, nickel, and lithium, which drive up production costs. In contrast, sodium-ion batteries primarily use sodium, a common and inexpensive metal. Some sodium-ion battery manufacturers also use cathode materials, like manganese or iron instead of cobalt, further reducing costs. According to a 2022 report by ID TechX, the production cost of sodium-ion batteries could drop to around $100 per kilowatt hour, while current lithium-ion battery costs are around $140 to $150 per kilowatt hour. This shows that sodium-ion technology could be 30 to 40 percent cheaper than lithium-ion. The production of sodium-ion batteries is expected to begin in June, starting with small starter batteries for heavy-duty trucks under the Naxtra brand. These new batteries are expected to offer a significant advantage for vehicle startups in cold weather. Mass production of larger batteries for electric vehicles and hybrids is expected to begin in December this year. So far, the 4680 battery remains Tesla's best battery. Unfortunately, it's currently only available in the expensive Cybertruck rather than across other models, prompting many to ask, when will the 4680 battery truly become abundant and available in more affordable EVs? Moreover, it's been a long time since Tesla introduced a new, more efficient battery, which reinforces the growing belief that Tesla is falling a decade behind Chinese automakers. From what we know, Tesla still sources 4680 batteries from multiple suppliers, including Panasonic and LG Energy Solution. The company has also been working to scale up its internal battery production over the past few years, reaching a milestone of 100 million 46,080 cells produced as of September last year. While Tesla is no longer struggling to refine the 4680 battery, Elon Musk confirmed record output levels at Giga Nevada. Many critics argue that the 4680 uses outdated chemistry and powers vehicles that can't maintain a 2C charging rate. Meanwhile, Chinese OEMs already have cars on the road that can sustain 4C charging for most of the cycle and are moving quickly to commercialize semi-solid state and sodium ion batteries on a large scale in the very near future. The Tesla Model 2, an electric vehicle Elon Musk once mentioned with a target price of $25,000, remains one of Tesla's biggest mysteries. While it is expected to be an affordable EV for the mass market, one of the key factors in achieving that price point is battery cost. Although Tesla has adopted LFP batteries for more budget-friendly versions of the Model 3 and Model Y, there's still a significant gap to reach the $25,000 price goal that Musk proposed for the Model 2. In other words, LFP batteries are not yet cheap enough to make the Model 2 viable at that price point. Tesla adopting sodium-ion battery technology, such as the Naxtra battery, would be a logical and strategic move to reduce electric vehicle production costs, especially considering Tesla's long-term partnership with cattle. This technology could help Tesla achieve its goal of producing the Model 2 at a $25,000 price point while reducing reliance on more expensive battery types like lithium-ion. However, tariffs and other trade-related factors will need to be taken into account to ensure the feasibility of applying sodium-ion batteries in the U.S. market. So can Naxtra sodium batteries replace lithium batteries? In our opinion, the answer is no. Sodium batteries will not replace lithium batteries in the short term. Within the industry, it is widely believed that sodium-ion and lithium-ion batteries are complementary, not replacements for each other. Due to the lower energy density of sodium-ion batteries, they are more suitable for use in medium to low-speed electric vehicles and in large-scale energy storage systems. As industry investment increases, the technology matures, and the supply chain improves, cost-effective sodium-ion batteries are expected to become an important supplement to lithium-ion batteries, particularly in the field of stationary energy storage. They have a strong potential for development. Battery demand generally revolves around higher capacity, faster charging speeds, improved safety, and lower cost. From this perspective, aside from not yet being able to meet high capacity needs, sodium ion batteries have advantages in all other aspects. At this stage, 
sodium ion battery products will primarily be used in applications requiring less than 150 watt hours per kilogram, which could help alleviate the limited development of energy storage systems due to lithium resource shortages. There are no obvious bottlenecks for large scale mass production of sodium ion batteries, and they will rapidly gain market share with their unique characteristics in specific markets. Sodium ion batteries are positioned as the most cost effective and highly safe energy storage batteries. Once mass production is achieved, their performance is expected to reach that of lithium ion batteries, but at the price of lead acid batteries. The development of sodium ion batteries is a process of self innovation. Eventually, sodium ion batteries will directly compete with lithium batteries for market share. Although Cattle has outlined a clear timeline, the industrialization of sodium ion batteries still needs to overcome challenges related to technical performance, supply chain development, large scale manufacturing, and cost reduction. The inherent limitation of low energy density in sodium ion batteries is widely acknowledged, and efforts to optimize this have never stopped. Increasing the energy density from 160 watt hours per kilogram to 200 watt hours per kilogram has become the key R&D goal for cattle's second generation sodium ion batteries. Naturally, improving energy density presents a time and effort intensive challenge. Beyond energy density, current sodium ion batteries can reach a cycle life of up to 5,000 cycles, though this is still significantly lower than that of commercial lithium iron phosphate batteries, which can last 8,000 to 10,000 cycles. To become the backbone of energy storage applications, sodium ion batteries still need to go through further technical validation and improvement. In addition to Naxtra, Cattle has also introduced the second generation of its Shenxing battery, which is expected to be installed in 67 vehicles this year from Chinese brands like Zeker, Neo, and Avatar. This fast charging battery can support a range of 800 kilometers and deliver 520 kilometers of range with just five minutes of charging, outperforming rival BYD from China. Its charging speed is truly impressive. Cattle shared examples of vehicles charging at around 1,000 kilowatts, maintaining over 500 kilowatts even when the battery is more than 50% charged. Cattle is also betting on the growth of battery swap systems, such as with its partner NEO, to help roll out its new battery technologies more widely. In summary, Naxtra sodium ion batteries are emerging as a promising alternative to lithium-ion batteries in electric vehicles and energy storage applications. Over 18.32 million vehicles equipped with Catal batteries are currently in operation across more than 66 countries, demonstrating the reliability and effectiveness of the technology. Thanks to their high safety and the abundant availability of sodium, sodium-ion batteries reduce dependence on lithium resources, which is a key factor in solidifying the foundation of next-generation energy technologies. This shift not only brings sustainability benefits, but also drives the transition from resource dependence to energy independence, a major leap toward achieving clean and efficient energy goals. Technical issues like slower charging compared to refueling have already seen significant improvements, making EV charging more convenient. However, infrastructure development and technology costs still remain critical factors in making sodium ion technology widely accessible to consumers. Forecasts suggest sodium ion batteries could become mainstream within two to three years, even though lithium ion remains the dominant choice for EVs at present. However, one concerning factor is that tariffs on advanced batteries imported from China could cause the U.S. to fall behind in the global EV race. This not only gives Chinese EVs a competitive edge, but also makes large-scale energy storage deployment in the U.S. More expensive and risk-prone, posing challenges for domestic clean energy manufacturers and infrastructure rollout.